welcome to my channel. It's me, Kate, the Resting Maker Artist. Hey, friend, welcome back. So, we have a full face. We are going to Sephora for the first time with no mask on. We're gonna give it a try. If we feel a little iffy, we'll throw our mask on real quick. We'll keep one right in our pocket. But this is my first ever full face since I've been working at Sephora, and I'm gonna take you through the journey, how it went from the beginning until the end, honey. All right, I'll see you real soon. I'm excited. As you can see, I got my lashes done. I'm a woman again. <laughs> I haven't had my lashes done in so long. I am over strip lashes. I just can't. I, it's, at this point, it's me. It's me. It's not my skill. I think it's just me and my eyeballs because my eyes water like no other and I'm sick and tired of getting to the parking lot of Sephora, living my best life, and my eyelash pop off. Right here, it's always this eye, always. I can't anymore so I got a little double stack wispy cat eye girl we are doing it we're gonna start off with our brows we're gonna head on into our eyes brows since we are microblade we're just gonna keep it simple use our benefit you're gonna brush that through because I don't think I need to um do any serious fill-ins besides just cleaning up my my brow I think that's the only thing I need to do okay. this daggone chair I'm over this chair I am I am over the chair and as I'm editing like my last video all I can do is hear the chair going and I'm like my gosh what is happening She was in the cut over here. And we have never put you over there, so I don't even know why we even. But I'm gonna zoom you guys in. We're using our Bedellum's Tools 714, our flat brush, and we are literally going to underline our brows carefully. Carefully. Dang, it's always my angling. I don't even know. angle with these lashes on and honestly I was really struggling but I really just have to take my time hi it's me Kate voiceover I'm currently chilling it is raining outside so sorry if you do hear that in the background but it's super relaxing I don't know what was going on in this scene something caught me off guard I had to make a face towards that but after I did my line under my brow, make sure I cleaned it up, I'm now starting to use that brush and I'm dragging that concealer down. And I'm like really concentrating here. Because honestly, and I know I've said this before and this is for everybody, not both brows are going to be the same. As much as we would like it, it's not always going to be the same. And so now I'm still just dragging that along, trying to get that line as perfect as possible. So I'm because just going also to in this my mind, concealer oh, oh. down and we'll lend it. Now, I got cut off my own self. Would you look at that? <laughs> I'm doing something I said I was not going to do. We just went in with our Benefit Palmade for our brows and just filled them in just a little bit. I really didn't have plans on doing that, but you know, things happen. We're freestyling again today. Right. I realized I had went over my brow and now I have to clean it up. So I was going in with a little bit more palmade to darken it and then I end up just doing both brows because why not and so now I'm just going back and super trying to define that line blend that out with my beauty blender because I'm really focusing on detail sometimes I'm working so fast I don't focus enough and then I look back at videos I'm like oh that could have been blended more all right now we got our brows situated we're going to use our Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and we're going to get started with our eyes I think I think I'm going for a pink look today. I don't know why, but I'm feeling very pink. So we're going to use our Mothership from Pat McGrath, and we're going to use a couple of our ColourPops. Let's get into that. 
this will forever be my favorite method to keep my eyeshadow on. I have never felt the need to use any other brand because this still works. So, our Mothership palette, we're going to use this amazing pink number right in here. When I tell you this is my fave, well, this is one of my favorite colors. This is my fave, that's my fave, and these two. I can always make some magic work with these, but my eyes gravitate to this side of the palette. All of this side is my fave. I'm going to use my fluffy blending brush, Bedellum Tools 785 Tapered Blending. And I'm literally just going to blend. Circle motions, and I'm going to get this color all the way together. So I'm really just taking my sweet time building up this color, getting it to the opaqueness that I want. I still want this soft baby pink situation going on, but I want it to show up. So I'm just taking my time building that. And I want to make sure I clean that up and blend it out to its fullest potential. So I'm using a clean blending brush. I love that I have so much lid space that I can literally do so much with the space that I have here. So that's why I'm really going to take this color up and blow it out. So I'm gonna use the color Frog and Plume. I think that's how you say it. Plume, Frog. I'm going to use Frog all over my bottom lid. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I originally started with a brush and it was not working out. So I had to switch to my finger, which is A-OK. -okay. So I'm using that first color, patting that on, and I'm switching to my second color, and I'm gonna put that right on the corner. And I'm gonna blend those two together, and to kind of give this glitter some shapes so it doesn't look so messy, I'm going to then use that brush and clean that line up as much as I can. Pink gel liner, electric pink. Alright, now we're going to get into our face. We're going to start by priming our face with our Hydro Grip from Milk. Then we're going to set that with our Laura Mercy A. And then we're going to go right in with our foundation routine, our contour routine, our base face. Yeah, that's what we're calling it, the base face. Too Faced Born This Way, and we're using a beauty blender today. And we're just going to dot this all over our entire face in sections. And our beauty blender's already been damped. So, this is my favorite all-time foundation. You guys know how I feel about this, and you're going to really watch me take my time. I've, I sped it up, but it did take me a long time, so I wanted to blend and make sure everything was nice and seamless. So, while well, I got a little bit of time, I thought I'd tell you guys about my day. I had such a pleasant day. I met the sweetest little old patient. She was the highlight of my day. And I learned to be really... It's a different vibe, it's a different personality from being a police officer to now being a medical assistant. And now you're helping people, you have to be more attentive. And it really just showed a different side of me that I did not know I had, and I really just enjoyed it. 
Contour Espresso Fenty. Back to our concealer. Ooh, it is thundering. It is a storm outside. But anyway, and I really enjoy working with my co-workers where, yes, I'm working hard, but it doesn't feel like terrible amounts of work and I don't have any help and in the world is in it. Like, no, all my co-workers pull their weight and it's an enjoyable time where the day goes by so fast. It is such a different environment and I'm truly enjoying myself, honestly. I could see myself being here for a while, although that's not my main goal. But for the time being, how refreshing it is to be in a happy, upbeat workplace environment. Like, if I have to be here for a long time, can I at least enjoy the time that I'm here? That's the point. And I'm just enjoying it. Do I miss being a police officer? I miss the job, yes. And I miss some of my coworkers. But am I happier with my workplace balance and my workplace life? Absolutely. So... That was the end of the chapter, and I'm on to something new, and hopefully my YouTube career will do its thing. NARS Walnut, right in the corner. Alright, now back to the makeup. I absolutely love this NARS concealer. I love the extra shade it gives me. Oh my gosh, that brightness. I feel like it has elevated my makeup since I've been doing it. And I just love how fresh and bright it looks so even. <laughs> I love this new trick. You guys let me know if you guys are trying it. Because I'm a fan. So I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. But I also feel like that's just, it's not enough for me. The beauty blender is doing its job. But again, I'm trying to focus on attention to detail. So just the little edges that I want to uh, clear up. I'm now switching into my Bedellum Tools brush. That is a concealer brush. Interestingly, it is a fluffy dense brush our one size our Laura Mercier our one size is gonna go right up under the eye and then our Laura Mercier is going to go everywhere else all right y'all I'm not gonna talk your ears off too long I'm gonna let you vibe to the rest of the video and I'll jump back in Going in with you are magnifico. I don't know why I look like I struggle so hard to say it. Let's do that again. You are magnifico for our Lizzie McGuire ColourPop collection. This is a cute. Get in here. The rest of the color, please. This is a cute pink. Has some shimmers in here. I'm gonna be careful because. I can get carried away when it comes to blush, as we have seen on this channel. I don't think you guys thoroughly understand that I am a sweaty, little person like I I can't not not sweat <sighs> hold it together girl hold it together please because we're not finished 
for our highlight, we are using Kiko. Let's try that again. We're going to use Kiko for our highlight today. And because I'm feeling glossy, I'm going to put my iconic lip plumper right on top. I'm looking crazy right now. I'm looking crazy. So, give me a second, I'll come back with a completed look. There you have it. We went from the beginning to the middle to the end and now we are here. I showed you all the products that we use. I had no issues. The only issue I'm having is my hair. And I am, I will not show my lace on the front. I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm not. That's going to be its own separate video on why I got to wear a scarf. Okay. But that's besides the point. We did a lovely little look. Nothing was too complicated. Really just want to do a full face and show the girls that we know how to do makeup, okay? We've been wearing a mask for an entire year and only what see your eyes, that's it. That's the only type of makeup I've ever did was my eyes and maybe my eyebrows and maybe and maybe some concealer under the eyes. But this is a full beat. I sprayed myself down with my mats, honey. We need to keep this face on at least until 8 o'clock. So from 4 to 8, that's my shift. I'm going to give it everything that I have. This look is so cute. This is so, this is so me. As much as I, I'm not a fan of pink, but I can turn pink out, okay? This is, we're looking cute. So, I hope you enjoyed following along with the little work sesh. I'm on my way to work. And I'll see you in my, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I keep doing that, my gosh. If you like my video, give it a like. It means a lot to me. And if you have something nice you want to say, drop a comment down below. And if you want to, and only if you want to, join the Katie fam. Come on, some plan. So I can give you more looks like this. I can give you more personality like this. Join, hit the subscribe button. It means a lot. So, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.